ANC Secretary General Fiki Limbalula has defended the party's decision to remove former head of political school David Masondo. Ma Ma Mbalula rather is denying claims that Masondo was removed because of his decision on the political lecture addressed by ZANU PF critic or rather academic Professor Ibo Mandaza. We're now joined by Professor Mandaza via video link to get a sense of what exactly is happening. Prof, thank you very much for your time. You were in the country just a few weeks ago delivering the keynote address at the ANC School of Politics and today um, the school manager or CEO has since been removed. The ANC is saying there's nothing untoward about this. What is your understanding? Well, I don't know really. I don't know. Uh, it appears to me that the, the, the issue of this lecture, the public lecture which I gave on the 28th of uh, of September right. must be a red herring, um, and and may might in fact betray the bigger bigger issues within the ANC itself. But I'm not here to comment on that. I'm here simply to comment on the merits of the public lecture, which I was grateful to be invited to, and the fact that it had been postponed uh, from the 7th of September on the instructions of Balula. And significantly, among other things, Marula mentioned the need to postpone the lecture uh, because uh, the ANC was at that time involved in very, to quote him, delicate discussions uh, following a disputed election in Zimbabwe. And I, my interpretation of that was that, uh, yes, it was worthwhile to postpone the lecture if only to give a chance uh, to South Africa as, a, as, a, as the major interlocutor in Zimbabwean uh, affairs to do precisely that which uh, Barula was suggested in his letter. And indeed in my lecture I conclude by saying that whatever the reasons were for the postponement for Barula's letter on the 6th of September you know, one, one was prepared to put that under, under, under the bridge and forget about it. If indeed the ANC in particular and the, and the government of South Africa were indeed involved in negotiations, in, uh, in dialogue with the ZANU-PF towards a settlement of the kind of settlement that I spoke about in my lecture. My lecture was really about, a, it was more a plea to SADC and to South Africa in particular. To be, to be engaged with the Zimbabwean problem, to help in, this, in the dialogue towards a political settlement in Zimbabwe. So that's, that's all I have to say about, about the occasion, really. What Mr. Mbalula has had to say since, including um, using words like dissident, uh, was very unfortunate. And I'm not here to inter in, uh, um, uh, uh, altercate with the, with the, Mr. Mbalula, uh, list of all over such a matter. Sure. And I, I regret very much that uh, David Masondo may have fallen victim to this, these particular circumstances. Uh, he's a great man, he's a great scholar, and I'm sure you, you'll be okay. We all went through that. Uh, some of us were forced into retirement at age of 42, 1990. Of a kind of similar situation where you, you raise questions about the political decisions being made, about the slant in the in the, in the former liberation movements, we are all from the from the former liberation movements. So we have responsibility um, to, to to play our part to the end, mm. and 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 we should be the conscience of of the of the revolution, the conscience of the liberation movements. No more, no less than that. That's our role as scholars, as academics from the liberation movement. And just a note to you, Prof, and to our viewers, that we did reach out to the ANC, the party spokesperson, Matengi Bengo Mutsiri, is currently um, at a protest to the Israeli uh, embassy in South Africa. So unfortunately, she uh, made it known that she will not be joining us today, but we will petition and try and get her to tell the party's version of events on Monday, hopefully. But for now, we say thank you very much.